Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Trey the DIY Ninja and today we are going to be trying something new. Uh, during Prime Day... What is that called? Yeah, Prime Day sales? I don't know what that thing is called, but yeah. So there's a day every year where Prime, Amazon Prime has like a sale and I decided to just buy everything UV resin because I've been really interested in trying it out for myself. So I purchased a whole bunch of silicone molds, some UV resin, and some. I have some glitter, but some of them came as kits, so it has some glitter with it. This is the UV resin that I purchased. Um, I'm not sure what brand this is. Oh, there we go. It's. I can't read that. Can you see that up here? Right here. Whatever that says. And this... I picked this because on the reviews it said it had almost no odor, which is very important to me, and the fact that it's non-toxic. So, since I am around a young child, I don't want anything toxic in the house. He's right there. He's so cute. Love you too, baby. Anyways, today we're going to be trying out something super simple, I hope. <laughs> But I'm going to make a little soap dish out of this coaster mold. It's a, what do you call it? I really should know these things. Like an agate mold where you kind of like see all the circles and things like that. But I'm just going to make like a really simple glitter mold, I think. So first thing you need is to always wear gloves. You don't want to get this on your skin, even though it is non-toxic. If it cures onto your skin, it can cause like allergic reactions and things like that. So I have a paper towel soaked in rubbing alcohol and I just cl I'm just cleaning out the mold to make sure there's no dust or debris from the manufacturing. And inside here, it's really glossy, so hopefully it makes everything super shiny. And this one is, this mold has like a bunch of different shapes and designs. But I just want to make this one, because I think it will fit on my soap dish rack in the shower. Hopefully. And let's see, what else would we need? Um, this packet of like glitter pigment came with another set but I'll put everything that I bought down in the description box below if I can and that way you can also follow along with me now what color should we do today hmm I can't see color so let's just guess like okay I'll tell you what I think the colors are and you can tell me if I'm right I think this is red either green white or yellow <laughs> this looks orange this looks either dark blue or black this looks blue this looks green this looks light blue this looks green this also looks green this looks brown like brown or purple and i don't know what color this is this is like a green or a gray so I'm pretty sure that doesn't sound right, but what color should we make? Let's just take them out and see. I don't know. No, not that color. That looks more red in the camera. This looks yellowish, maybe. I think that's white. Anyways, I'm going to go pick my colors and I'll come right back. Okay, I forgot to mention you're going to need like a little stir stick. This also came in another kit, so this one has kind of like a shovel end and a skinnier shovel end. Might be hard to see since it's clear. Let me show you. Let me lift this. Here we go. So here's this tool. And then I also have a little plastic spoon. And then if you want to reuse them, just wipe them right away after you use them. So the spoon's for the glitter. And this is to like just kind of scrape the sides and pop any bubbles if we need to. I'm thinking, thinking that's how it works. I actually, I've never tried this before. So I'm not sure. And I picked out a dark glitter. Not sure what color this is. I think it's a blue. 
Let's try that. Or, I thought I picked out a darker one. I don't know. This one looks pretty dark here. Maybe we'll do that, just so you can see better. And by you, I mean me, because I can't see. Okay. Let me just take this all out here. Let's see. Which one's darker? This one or this one? Hmm. This one. Okay. Alright, I'll put this right here. And... So I have my tools and stuff in another compartment, just so I know where it is. And I'm going to start by just squirting some UV resin into the bottom here. And after every time I pour, I'm going to just wipe the tip, and I'll just put that over there just to keep it handy. And let's take my spreader here. It is kind of hard to see, but I'm just going to spread it out evenly on the bottom. I don't know how much I actually put in there because it's clear, but I'm just going to push it outward and hopefully I'm not creating more bubbles. But if I am, I have a lighter, barbecue lighter to help get the bubbles out and, okay, I'm going to have to zoom in, I can't see. Let's just adjust this here, and I want to push it to the edge. Okay, let's get it in frame. Just push it all to the edge. Yeah, I also bought a heat gun, but I'm kind of scared to use it. <laughs> my husband saw me. He opened my package for me, and he's like, you're going to burn the house down. <laughs> I was like, hmm possibly. So let's just stick to the lighter for now. And if I need to use the heat gun, I will, but I'm going to try to avoid it. Okay. I'm going to just spread this out. And I'll be right back. Okay. I think, I mean, I can't tell, but it, look, it feels pretty uneven, <laughs> but we're just going to mix glitter in here anyways. So let's just do that. I'm gonna open this up here. I put a piece of like um, black felt, like jewelry liner, under the mold to hopefully help with being able to see. Okay, baby, hold on. So I'm still potty training this guy, and he's sitting on the potty right now. Let's see if this works. Let's put a little more. Make sure all the glitter comes off. I'll wipe this off. Okay, and I'm gonna stir that in. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's just try to evenly disperse this into the resin, so maybe that'll help with the spreading. I'm probably not doing this right. You know what? Yeah, good job, baby. Let me just put more resin in. Oops. This will probably take a lot of resin. Let's put it in. Okay. Just gonna mix in the tray here. Remember to work with resin in a well-ventilated area. This one doesn't really have much of an odor. It kind of just smells like gel nail polish. Like, just very slight. Why does this look just dirty? 
What glitter is this? It just looks really dirty. I don't know if it looks great. Kind of looks like dirty water. <laughs> I think I'm creating air bubbles. Just gonna scrape this side. I probably should be scraping the bottom. But yeah, this is my first time. It's not looking great. <laughs> I must admit. I'm just gonna pour some brighter There's colors. Papa's Papa is working, baby. <laughs> okay, I'll let him know that you pee peed in the potty. Alright, we'll just do some blue here. And I think that was blue. Just add whatever this color is. Oh. Bye. 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 <laughs> so Bye. All right. Bye. Let's mix this in. See if it brightens it up a little. I mean, I guess you could use a like a separate cup to mix first, which you probably should do, but. I haven't received my silicone cups in the mail yet, so I'm just mixing it in here. Uh, I must say, this looks pretty gross. <laughs> this is not looking good. Okay, okay, how can we fix this? Let's add something super bright, like this color. Mm -hmm. Just mixing everything in and hopefully it works because I'm gonna need the UV light to penetrate through all this pigment so I don't know if it will work but we'll give it a try let's zoom in because I cannot tell I think I'll cure this layer first. Oh, I also forgot. You're gonna need a UV lamp. I'm using a UV nail lamp for this. I'm just gonna go around the edges. And I will cure under that. I mean, I don't know how this will turn out. I feel like it needs something brighter. Like something more sparkly. Mommy. Let me see if I have any other glitters around. I'll be right back. Okay, so I found this other glitter that I had just from like my nail collection. Just gonna sprinkle some in. Was that a lot? I don't know. I can't really see from this far away, but we'll see. I might not have added anything at all. Okay, I'll mix this in. Okay, so I added more resin just to mix it in a little bit more and I'm just gonna let this settle I think the mold is like halfway full I'm gonna let that settle all right baby and then hold on baby okay anyways like I was saying I'm gonna just let this settle and try to it's supposed to be self leveling so I'm gonna let that just sit for a bit and see if any bubbles arise and then, sorry for the noise, my baby is riding his car around the kitchen. Okay, and then, let's just take this glitter out of the way. Oh, did I use this one? Or did I use the other one? Oh, well, whatever. And then, we can put it under the light. Just put that there. I'm gonna pop this, oh wait. Let me get my barbecue lighter and just do it over the top really quick. Let's take a zoom in and see if we can see any bubbles. Oh, okay. Kind of looks like a glittery, dark something. Though I feel like it's like patchy there, unless that's a bubble. I don't know. That probably is a bubble, actually. Mm, and I think I see some on the side here. 
unless that's just glitter. But, okay, let's get the torch. Be right back. Guys, I have my torch here. Just put it over the top. Just move it real quick. I don't know if I'm doing this too long, but we'll see. Did that make a difference? I think so. Maybe not. <laughs> oh well. Okay, I'm just gonna cure this and let's see how it turns out. I'm gonna stick it in the lamp here and I'll just press that. And I cover it with a towel just because I don't want the UV rays to get everywhere. It's not really good for your eyes. So, okay. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this probably about five or six times just because it's kind of a big piece and it's more thick. So, hopefully it'll cure all the way. I'll show you what it looks like when it's ready to demold. Right, here it is after it cured about... I probably did it for six to seven or eight minutes. And I don't know if it's sticky because... Huh. This part's not sticky. This part, I can hear a little bit of a stick, so maybe I'll put it in again. But I think I'll just pop it out first. Is it gooey on this side? Actually, you know what? Let's put it back. It feels a little bit fragile on this corner here. So I'm going to put it back in the lamp for another three minutes or so. Okay, it's time for the demolding. And I reviewed my previous footage and I realized that, hold on baby, that my tripod was showing in the shot like most of this video, so I apologize. But yeah, okay, like I was saying, it's early in the morning, I haven't had my coffee and I just was too excited. So I wanted to try to film and I didn't really like pay attention. <laughs> Anyways, let's unmold this bad boy. I don't know if you can over cure, but came out really easily and here it is Ooh, look at that this is actually really pretty let's try to zoom in and see if we can see the details look at that it's kind of like a speckled sparkle with some gold inclusions it looks really good I don't see any air bubbles which is nice very cool very cool and it's cured all the way let me just zoom out for you guys like this resin okay so I didn't fill the mold all the way up I just left it halfway you can fill it up more but for what I'm using it for which is just the soap dish I don't really need it to be super thick but let's just take a look around the edges uh, the edges feel nice and smooth and they have like because of the refraction it looks like there's like a dark border and it's more clear on the inside here very nice I mean, it's not like super nice, but it turned out nicer than I was expecting just from making it. As you saw the process, it looked like it was going to be quite ugly, but I think I salvaged it to be usable for a soap dish. So yeah, cool. So I don't know if you can see, but in the sun, it's so pretty. It sparkles and glimmers, and I just dropped this on the floor and it didn't break. So I think this was a success. Hopefully I can get better footage, but yeah, it's just so beautiful. I love it. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Sorry this video was a hot mess, but uh, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, please thumbs up this video to help the channel grow with the YouTube algorithm and so more people can see it and find me. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't and leave a comment down below of what you would like me to make next or what you thought of this piece. But um, yeah. <laughs> That is all. Okay, bye.